Hello and welcome to Tech Tips, Editing Edition. Today we're going to look again into Final Cut and actually just take a little peek at the effects and effect folders and whatnot. So we're going to go straight in. This is going to be a short video, I'm going to warn you right away. Uh, this is a, more a... Uh, it's too much to go through to be a useful video, so I'm just going to do the short compressed version so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, we have a couple of versions of effects. Of course, it's audio effects that we touched on when we did our audio video at some point. Uh, and then there's the video effects, which is everything from making an enhancement to your video to making it more artsy and, you know, creative. We can start with the audio version, uh, because we already touched on it once. Uh, you have um, your levels, like your limiter. Oops, I have a search in. There, you have your limiters that just dips the tops of your audio so you can adjust it easier. You can change voices, you can do de-essers, you can do um, denoiser. If you have a hum in the background, for example, a denoiser would just try to adjust away the noise in the background. Uh, the same is for video, but that's called something else. It's called uh, also noise. It is called Let's search for noise and see what comes up. Noise. Noise reduction, that's what it's called. And when you toss that on there, it uh, takes away that little flutter in the, in the video when you've shot something in the dark. Or if your camera wasn't good enough to have in that situation, then you can compensate a bit. Uh, there's a few uh, better versions that you can download for free, or pay to download actually, I should say. Uh, so people have made and programmed their own plugins that work great. But the one inside of Final Cut is also called the Noiser. It helps somewhat. All you do is you go into your uh, Effects button up here. Did I have? It says Effects right there. And then it says which effect you're doing. You can toggle it on and off, of course, uh, to see the difference. And in here you can choose maximum amounts. You can choose maximum sharpness. And it'll kind of try to compensate and take away that the noise in the video. If we disconnect that one there, there's also... So inside of Blur, you have something called Sharpen, which is counterintuitive. When you toss it on there, boop, you just add a little uh, blackness around the edges to things that makes it appear more sharp. Which helps when you have a little bit of fuss in, in your video to just sharpen it up and make it a little bit crisper. Uh, the complete opposite of that is Gaussian, which is a blur. So if you remove the Sharpen, then you have a Gaussian like here, this. This is often used if you have a credit roll or something that you want to have after your clip or whatever thing. Then you just toss in a credit roll, like so. And if you have the, the, the blur on, it's easier to see the text compared to if I remove the Gaussian blur and now I have text on the actual clip. Then you see that the, the, the blacks in the background kind of blends in with the text or the white blends in with the text. But if you have a, a Gaussian blur there, the text pops. There you go, and that's for the enhancers. You have a little bit of a, say, comic basic. What does that do? It makes a, a more of a comic book feel to your clip. So there's a, a hundred different effects here. Depending on what it is you're going for, you should go through them, at least see what they're doing, and just uh, be more familiar with what's there. So it makes it easier for you to be more creative with what you actually have. It's great tools to use. It can enhance your videos and make them a little bit better and more creative without actually having to do anything else in your shooting. And there's different styles like aged paper, for example. Also, if you have a old timey Western look, that's what you would use. So that is the uh, little bit short video about effects and how to find them and how to add them and how to adjust them. This was all for this time, this little mediated. We thank you so much for watching and like, subscribe. And this was Tech Tips with Jacob Goodhand.